So you need to understand that, Bank of America. This is on your head. If these people die from cancer, if their yes, children yes, get yes. leukemia, if they die from asthma attacks, this is on your head, Bank of America. So let's give them a good chance. Ready? Dump Dominion now! 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 And Betsy, tell us what happened today inside FERC, inside the meeting. Well, uh, there were about four of us that actually got inside the meeting, and uh, uh, I was the third person to comment. What was your well, message? Well, I actually commented to one of the commissioners who had actually commented to the person who spoke before me, who said, well, I don't know, what do these people think? It's, it's, the, it's the infrastructure that's it's keeping them warm in the winter and the, uh, keeping them from freezing to death. And specifically, and I said, you were wrong, um, fracking gas infrastructure is destroying communities in Pennsylvania across the Commonwealth. It's, uh, it's destroying our environment. Uh, it's all around a bad thing. I, uh, uh, there are alternatives, and we're not talking about alternatives. So. And Ashley, why did you go into FERC today? What was your message to the commission? Uh, stop fracking, save your mother. Because back in Kansas, they're fracking and pulling all the oil and the gas out of the ground, and it's causing earthquakes there. We're having anywhere between three to four earthquakes a week, sometimes more. And when they first started having earthquakes, they're like 2.1s, 2.5s, and now we're all the way up to 4.9s. That was our biggest one, and that was last week. And what did you say to the commission today? Stop the fracking, save your mother. And what was the consequence of that? I, I was removed and escorted out of the building. Did they take your name or anything? Uh, they did when I first came in and they told me if I disrupted that I would be put on the, the blue list. Not sure what that is, but I brought my boys with me all the way. There's okay. two of them running around. Okay, well great. So they were a part of it as well. Ashley, what would you, did you get to finish your message to FERC? Just to tell them to stop fracking. That's all. What I else said. would you say to the commissioners if they were here? I don't think they really understand what they're doing. They, they're causing so much damage. I'm new to all of it. I mean, I've always been against it, but since like the more and more earthquakes that we're having, it's it's sad. It really is sad because by the time my kids are old enough and they have kids, what's going to be left? And Donnie, you attempted to deliver a letter to Bank of America earlier today, or maybe just a little half, more than a half hour ago. What was the result of that? So actually we did deliver a letter. Um, we went inside and they asked what we wanted to do. So I asked if somebody was a bank manager who was talking with us, he said he was. So I, asked, I attempted to give the letter to him. He didn't want to take it, but he did say he was well aware of it. He said he knew um, what the letter was about and what we were about, and what we wanted from Bank of America and how we wanted them to dump Dominion. And he was very like versed in all of that, he said. Um, but he didn't want to take the letter. And so then more people came in and then he obviously grew more anxious. And um, so he grew more into like wanting us to get outside or getting security inside, maybe get us outside or anything like that. And so I just went up to the teller and I gave the letter to the teller and the teller received it and said he had passed it along. Um, so Bank of America received the letter. Well, obviously Bank of America, they're saying they already know what's in the letter in the first place, which to us is a really good sign that they're paying attention they like we've sent letters we've given letters to bank managers in the past and we've heard that they've already received them through internal emails before we even gave it to them so, that's so what does the letter say what is the message of that letter? so it's just a basic thing explaining that like you know we're having a protest outside this is what the protest is about this is what we're asking bank of america to do to dump dominion resources stop their financing for that um, specifically around the Coke Point export terminal project but also for the other pipelines and pressure stations other things dominion's doing the bank of america shouldn't be financing that. And so honestly, I don't see Bank of America as the target as much as Dominion, and we're asking Bank of America to do the right thing in regards to Dominion.
basically what we're trying to do is take money away from Dominion. So because right now they don't have the cash in hand to build this terminal. It's 3.8 billion dollars they want to spend to build this terminal. And they don't have that. Like who has that sitting around? You know, and like as far as liquefying stocks and maybe having cash on hand when they want it. If they sell off all their stocks right away, their stocks are going to be worth anything. 